My name is Justin Elliott. I'm a reporter here at ProPublica. My name is Josh Kaplan. I'm a reporter at ProPublica. My name is Brett Murphy. I'm a national reporter at ProPublica. I'm Kirsten Berg, and I am a research reporter at ProPublica. My name is Alex Majerski. I'm a research reporter at ProPublica. And Brett, what did you just win? We just won the Pulitzer Prize for Public Service. Uh, for our coverage of the Supreme Court. The Pulitzer. The Pulitzer. The Pulitzer for Public Service for a series of stories we did about ethics issues at the U.S. Supreme Court. I think it was pretty early in the reporting when we found a video on a Facebook page for airport enthusiasts. It had a video of a flight that allegedly had Clarence Thomas on it, a private jet taking off. Combining a series of public records, we discovered that Justice Clarence Thomas appeared to have taken a private jet flight. We started looking to try to figure out if it was a pattern and, and the more we looked the more we found until eventually we realized this was he was taking free vacations from Harlan Crow every year for you know, virtually more than two decades uh, and they were talking yacht trips around the world uh, private jet flights uh, international vacations um, and that's when we were like, oh this is this is something really out of the ordinary and we published our first story and it turned out that was really just the, the tip of the iceberg. When you're talking about the lives of billionaires and people uh, traveling around the world at a certain level of luxury, there are a lot of people, human beings, that have to do the work to make that kind of luxury travel possible. So talking private jet pilots, flight attendants, um, one of the people that we wrote about, actually several of the people we wrote about own super yachts that have a staffs of dozens of people that cook the meals and serve the food and um, make sure everything's working. Our sources were, were very far away from Washington. You know, we weren't talking to Washington insiders. We were, for the most part, talking to, to service workers. And those people really became the key sources to piece this all together because this is a world that, you know, is shrouded in secrecy. Learned some important lessons about how much secrecy there is around this branch of government and how sort of again and again over history and especially most recently as my colleagues have reported, this branch has seen themselves as above the law, has seen themselves um, as exceptional, has seen themselves as worthy of secrecy. I think the most important lesson that I've learned was that it's really important to go to folks where they are, visit them at home. You know, this reporting is very delicate, really sensitive, and sources, um, you know, risk a lot by talking to us. So I think what I learned is that you have to be patient with them. Um, what lessons have I learned? I guess one would be to turn every page. You never know what uh, little piece of information you might find buried um, in some court docket or, or uh, archive or Instagram page. Thank you so much for reading our stories. Thank you 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 so much. <laughs>